I'm just like so passionate about it because I feel like every girl should literally have one and it will change their freaking life. Get this thing out of me! You can't get anything in there if you're super tense. You won't get, you know, like a syndrome that you don't really want. Form it in the shape of a zebra and shove it inside you. Do you know what? There's not enough videos that tell you things like this. Hi ladies and welcome to today's video. I'm going to be giving you all the reasons that you should ditch the pads, the tampons, and hop on the bandwagon and get a menstrual cup. And yes, I said that on YouTube. Menstrual cup. But first, hit that subscribe button because I upload new videos every single Sunday. I share a bunch of healthy recipes with you guys, workout videos, just tips and tricks to help you out, and just things that I've learned along the way that I love to share with you guys. So I don't want you to miss it, so hit that subscribe button and enjoy the rest of this video. So let's start with the easiest question. What is a menstrual cup? So it's essentially a little tiny chemical free cup that seals inside of you and it prevents leakage. So it's in replacement of a pad or a tampon and you can use it all throughout your period. I personally have used the brand Diva Cup for five years now and like I'm obsessed with it. I will never change. Like once you go there and you get a Diva Cup or one of the menstrual cups, I seriously, seriously mean it. You'll never ever go back. <laughs> Sounds extreme, but it's serious. The next question is, where do you buy one? So I personally bought mine from Walmart five years ago, uh, but you can buy them at drugstores, you can buy them online on Amazon, there's tons and tons of them everywhere, so as long as you look for them, it's usually next to like the condoms and like the lubricants and like all of that stuff. It's usually in that general area where there's like pH balance soap and stuff, so check in that area, it's usually close to the pharmacy, and it will be there. The next question is, which model do I get? So it actually comes in three different models. I personally use model one because that's for women under 30 who have never given birth. Model zero is actually for women under 18. And then model two is women over 30 who have given birth. So obviously based on what your experience is with given birth or your age, uh, you would pick based on that. And it's really good. I've never had any problems with leakage or anything like that. And I've used model one this whole time. The most commonly asked question that I get is, why do I use one? So let me break down a little calculation because I'm a cheap person and this is mostly why I chose it in the first place, but the huge amount of cost savings. So for an average box of tampons that I was using was about $6 per month. So if I bought tampons for five years instead of the cup, I would have spent $360 on tampons. And I instead only spent $37.97 on the Diva Cup. So in five years, I saved $322.03. And that's a lot of money. And it's obviously, it's leak proof. I used to always have problems with that because I'm an active person. I like to go to the gym and jump around and do all these things. So like, do you know what? Leaking was an issue. As odd as that is to say, over YouTube. But if you have that problem or you have like really like heavy periods and things like that, definitely try a Diva Cup. Cause like, I've never once, like, and I'm being serious, I've never once had it leak ever. So that's amazing. Another reason that I love it is that it lasts 12 hours. So you can keep it in for up to 12 hours, which is amazing. Cause a lot of people are like, how do you wash it in the bathroom or take it out when you're like out in public? But like for the most part in a 12 hour period, you're going to be home at some point or in a single bathroom that you're able to like take it out and wash it. So like it's never ever been an issue for me. Cause if you like go to an amusement park or like something like that, where it might not be like super comfortable, you, you probably won't be at an amusement park for 12 hours. You're gonna be somewhere that you're comfortable within that period. That's at least what I found, so I absolutely love that it lasts 12 hours. Another fan favorite is that it doesn't feel full, which to me, you could think of that as a negative thing, but I personally hated, and I think most people will understand that feeling, but when it feels full and it feels like just like heaviness inside you that you're like, get this thing out of me, you don't feel that anymore. It's great, it's a great feeling to not feel. So if that's up your alley, then definitely buy it for that reason, because that was the worst. Kind of along those lines, I also like the fact that you don't feel it when it's up there. You think there's this little cup up inside you, and you're like, how do you not feel it? But when it's in right, you will literally never, ever know, which is amazing, and it's so easy to get in. I like had to talk my friends into a couple, and they're like, this is just so weird. Like, how do we put it in? Like. All you have to do is literally make a C out of it and squish it in half and shove her in. Like it's not hard. Do it while you're sitting on the toilet. Be relaxed. Obviously like some people are like super tense. I'm like, you can't get anything in there if you're super tense. So like just calm down, relax, listen to some music and shove that cup up there and you'll be happy. I can't believe I just said that over YouTube, but do you know what? 
it's the truth. You know what? There's not enough videos that tell you things like this. So that's what I'm telling you. Do a C shape or like just honestly fold it in whatever way possible that is the smallest way that you can get it inside you in a comfortable manner. That is my best advice because sometimes on the little like instructions and stuff they have all these like wild things like yeah form it in the shape of a zebra and shove it inside you. It's like how about I just fold it in half? Is that okay? Yes it's okay. Just get it up there. Another really cool thing about it is that it doesn't have any chemicals in it, so you can't get toxic, ugh, I can never talk, I can never say this. You cannot get toxic shock syndrome. That's really exciting, obviously, because that was like a huge worry for me. Like if I was like a minute late, I'm like, I gotta take it out, I'm gonna get this toxic shock syndrome. But now you won't. So like that's exciting in itself that you won't get, you know, like a syndrome that you don't really want. So like another great reason. So another commonly asked question is how do I wash it? So at the end of my period every month I have a designated period cup and I literally just put boiling hot water in it and I just let it soak. Like I, I have tried actually putting apple cider vinegar like a little tablespoon of it uh, just to kill like the extra bacteria but they just recommend just putting boiling water and I've never had an issue like ever. Like you don't... I know this is kind of too much information, but I'm already making this video, but like you won't find yourself like getting yeast infections or anything like that from it. Like it's super, super clean and it's, oh, oh, I'm just like so passionate about it because I feel like every girl should literally have one and it will change their freaking life. So how I actually clean it while I'm on my period is I just like pour it in the toilet. You don't even have to look like if that grosses out, you could just take it out and pour it in and then like just pretend it's not even existent. But then of course you have to walk it to the sink because you're going to want to clean it out and like use soap and stuff before you put it back inside. Um, that's personally what I do. So then, yeah, it's like super easy. It's so fast. And honestly, it might sound gross at first, but you get so used to it. It's really not a big deal. Okay guys, so that concludes this video. If there's any questions, like do not hesitate to message me. You can message me on either Facebook or Instagram on my accounts. I will link them below. Yeah, there is probably tons of questions that you may have. I've literally had a friend FaceTime me while trying to put it in and be like, help me, like what do I do? And like honestly nothing, nothing phases me anymore. So do you know what? I might go, not go to that extent. Don't FaceTime me while you're trying to put it in, but definitely message me and I will answer any, any questions that you may have. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry if it was too much information. And if it wasn't, I'm glad it helped. So have a great day and don't forget to like this video and I will post more content.